Alrighty, so I thought I'd do it again. We just had a pop up here and then it went up. So let's just do another analysis just to see what happens. So now we're working our way down. Let's take a look at this 15 minute. All right, so we're working our way down and it looks like the Euro wants to keep moving down. So we wanna be careful about taking a buy here. I took the one, it tested this level multiple times. Uh, but like I said, we're definitely in a place of divergence and at some point this downtrend is going to end and I can't predict when it does but you can see what happened last time uh, if we just take a look you know always look at what the market does and the patterns that repeat itself so we see that it went down like this okay and then what happened it popped up and what did it do it tested this level and then it came down and tested 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 and it stopped right here and then it made a nice big move, okay? And whenever I see divergence, that's what I'm expecting to happen. So now let's look at what is going on now. So we had our big move, we got the divergence, and we tested, 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 didn't work, moved to a new level. So now we're gonna come up here, test, right? And when it comes back down, I think it might stop here, and then test, and then make another big move right up into here and so that's what i'm trying to time and i got to be careful i realize it could come back down take another low uh, so i have always managing my risk uh, but right now it's looking like it wants to do it you can see in the past it always takes a few times usually it doesn't happen right away and when it does it moves big and so the key is i don't know if when that big move is going to happen but I can still catch a lot of those little small moves and hopefully catch one of the big ones. So now I'm gonna go down, let's look at a one minute time frame. We do know we're up against support. And so uh, I'm just gonna be watching my MACD has started to lower on the one minute. Let's see what we're looking at on the five minute, see if that started to lower a bit as well. Um, and so at this point, what's gonna happen, the MACD is getting, getting lower here and we did have a trend line right there and it depends on how you draw these uh, i just had someone recently ask me you know do, do they have to be perfect and my answer to that is no they don't have to be perfect because you got millions of people looking at this same chart and they're all drawing trend lines and you know that not everyone's going to look at these trend lines exactly the same everyone's going to look at them differently so uh that's just, so it's just gonna be a general generality. So we've got this trend here, right? And we've got this trend blocking. So we've got a lot of resistance popping in and we know that on the 15 minute, there's a lot of resistance. So if it holds, which we have a lot of support here, we got support, 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 it's holding different levels. It tested this level, it went back down, and now it tests again. So I am going to be waiting patiently, and I'm gonna be waiting for price to come down a little bit more, and then consolidate, and then break to the upside. Okay, and so I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna enter the trade again. So this is just a matter of patience, and just getting in and out, doing this multiple times a day uh, in between this video i had actually taken like three trades uh, on the aussie yen so i took a short along here along here and along here and i can drag them on the chart so you can see what they looked like um, you can see there it was right there and then i did another one um, here so i was able to just get these breakouts as price went in and had a very nice trade so it's the same kind of thing and then I'll just be doing a couple pairs at a time and just watching and waiting watching and waiting patience is really critical the the two probably the biggest thing is doing your analysis on the front end I said two I'm actually coming up with three big things doing your analysis on the front end then being patient for the setup to trigger I sometimes get carried away and get in too early um, but one of the cool things about getting in too early, and it's not really cool, but it is and it isn't. I need to learn not to do get in too early, but 
if you're following the trend and you're you doing your analysis, sometimes you get in a little early, and because the market is you're right, it carries carries the trade anyways, and so that's that's part of your edge, right? That's part of your edge. Having an edge is really important, and so if you're doing your analysis properly and you can get in early, well, that will help you. Um, it'll help you increase your win rate, which will help your profits. And then the third thing, so number one is you're being patient. Number two, doing your analysis. And then the third thing, and I say this probably every video, which is your risk. And so if I end up, if this level doesn't end up holding, you know, if this level doesn't end up holding and I get in here and it breaks down and we have another level, right? It could go like, let's look at, you always want to see worst case scenario. Okay, we always want to calculate a worst case scenario. So in this situation, what would the worst case scenario be? Well, it could break down, get to this bottom, and then maybe even another level. And you actually, you can't even see it on this chart. Uh, you'd have to go over to a four hour chart to even see, maybe even a daily chart, to even see where that next level would be, which would be down here probably. So if you get caught in a trade, that's 100 pips away. And uh, you just can't, your count won't survive that, right? You, you just can't do that. So you got to take the loss. And one of the things that helps with taking the loss uh, that will help you understand is, hey, you took a loss, big deal, you can make it back. I know that I can make money every single day just by being patient. And if I have one day where I make a mistake or where I'm off, well, you know what? It's not a big deal because I can make that back really easy, especially if I get out early enough. So it's kind of a balance, like, okay, when do I wanna get out of the trade? Especially if you know it's gonna turn around, you know? So there's sometimes when I'm like, oh man, I don't wanna take this loss because I know as soon as I get out, it's gonna turn around. And that's just something that we have to determine, right? So I have a cutoff level, a specific number, that when it hits that level, it, I stop it and that means my timing was off and I I then try to work around that and say okay I I knew this trade was going to turn around but I didn't time it right and I was right I got out and I took the loss I didn't have to but to protect my account it was worth it had I held on yes I would have come back and made money but it wasn't worth the risk of blowing my account or losing too much that it was too hard to come back from so with that being said, uh, you know, if you have that cutoff level, it really helps with your timing and it helps you work within the parameters and the framework that you give yourself. And if you can learn that, you're going to see huge, huge progression in your trading. And I don't usually do two videos in a day, but I thought, hey, why not? Again, the Forex Master Trader link will be in the description if you want to get this kind of help and accountability all the time. We're here to help. All right, well, I'm just, uh, I'm hanging out right now and I'm pausing this I'll be in a minute. Let me look down on a one minute. Uh, it's looking like it might want to make a move. I'm going to be looking at getting in here. We just broke this level, so we'll see if it can hold. And if it holds, I'm going to, um, to get in. So right now I have an even, I think, a, a little better trend line to get in on here. So if it comes down here, pauses and then comes back up i'll be in on the trade again so we'll see we'll see what the market tells me what to do but i'm going to be patient i'm going to wait i'm not going to get in early all right so it's starting to break and before i take the trade i want to realize there's some, some definite resistance here there's resistance on this trend line uh, there's resistance on this trend line and there's resistance here so I know that the market has to break through those. I also know that there's support. There's support here, here, and here. So there's always going to be support and resistance that has to be broken through. And so um, it's just something you want to really pay attention to when you're taking the trade and say, okay, is it going to be worth it? And is it going to break through? Uh, what's the market telling me? So well, since I know that there's divergence and I know that eventually the market's going to break through, I'm leaning towards it breaking through. That's my bias right now. And so as soon as um, the price breaks the other way and goes lower, if it breaks this support zone here, 
uh, then that will change my bias. Now, we still, the, there are signs that it's looking to change because it broke this trend line. You can see this one minute trend line, and now we're below. Uh, there's a sign that that might be changing. And sometimes when it pops up, it'll break and it'll hit this and then it'll come back lower. So you really, I really like watching these downward trend lines or the ones that have been broken. So another thing, if you're confident, you know, and I'm adding all this stuff and it can be kind of tricky, but your brain will get used to this. If you get a break and a change of direction, one great place to go short is up against here. So if price comes up into here, and then breaks this trend line and it goes short, well, you could take that trade. And so it, it really depends upon the bias of what you're thinking. And um, since I'm leaning long, I'm not going to go short here or wait for the short break. I'm more interested in the long break. So I'm going to take it right now just because it's breaking again. And we'll see what happens. We'll see if I'm right on point with it. Um, this time, if I pull my profit up here, um, this is a $50 trade, right? And so I'll put my stop loss below here, um, which would be a little bit below, a little bit more than a 50. Uh, this is 77. And so you want to keep your risk to reward a little bit higher. And so when it gets up there, I might uh, extend this, right? I might extend this. And when I, a little explanation about my risk to reward that at times my risk to reward is, it seems like it's negative, right? It seems, oh, and 77 and a 50. But really what happens is I'll move my stops as time goes on. And so I might get out much sooner than the 77. The 77, I don't expect to hit that, right? It, I do hit it on occasion, but I don't expect to hit it. And just like this $50, uh, this, I might not hit this all the time either. I might end up moving this up, like especially if I'm looking at it on a 15 minute time frame. Let's look at it on a 15 minute. And um, if it ends up breaking this trend line, I'm going to be confident or I'm going to at least be expecting for price to, um, to move up to this level up here because uh, this trend line is very significant. And so I'm looking at price to go up to that next level. So I will extend my take profit. Um, but then again, sometimes I won't just because of time, right? So you got to look at that as well. So I've already made, I've already had four winning trades on the day. I've already hit, my, I've actually already hit my daily profit goal. Okay, and so I also have a daily profit goal. So I already hit that. So this is just gravy at this point. This is a gravy trade. And so when I'm doing a gravy trade, it's like, okay, do I wanna, be, I already hit my daily number. Do I wanna keep trading, right? And so that's something else you wanna consider. Do you wanna keep trading when you hit your daily uh, number and I still have some time. It's early. I hit my number really early today. So I have some time and in that case I might not allow it to go or I might just lock in my stop if it bursts really and it depends on the strength if it bursts really strong Crushes above this level. I might look at it and then I'll just lock in profit and I'll put my take profit up there and say look I already hit my daily goal if I move my stop to break even I'm either going to hit my daily goal or I'm going to double my daily goal if it runs into the profit. So it's kind of a win-win situation at that point. And I will decide that towards when I'm getting done trading. So right now I'm already up on this trade and uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to keep things alive here and um, I'm going to just pause it and we're gonna watch it and we're gonna see what happens, okay? And so, uh, thanks, I've been, <laughs> been going on for 15 minutes now, 14 minutes, but I think I'm unloading a lot of information. And so if you like this training, if this is useful to you at all, please, please, please hit that like button and subscribe and even leave a comment and question because I really love getting feedback from my listeners and viewers, thank you. Okay. All right. So it went down again. We had a nice little move and you know, this is one minute stuff. So it's a little crazy. So when I say a nice little move, it was two pips. And then it rejected pretty hard 
and now it is coming back again um, and so I don't know if there was news or what I should be paying more attention to the news that's something that we need to do uh, let me check the economic calendar while we're doing so there was no news uh, that I can see today so not sure why it was moving but anyways the point of this is uh, now I can actually add another position right so remember I talked about stacking once it breaks down and now it's breaking this trend line again if we get if this level will break one more time um, I will add a, a buy and so now I've got two trades uh, heading onto the target and at this point I could maybe take profit on one and let the other one run but the other issue at this point is when you add another position like I just did right now you got to remember it increases your risks so that means you're gonna have to get out of the trade much sooner so I'm gonna uh, drag this one up a little bit higher uh, so this one's gonna be a hundred and thirty dollar trade and the first one's a fifty dollar trade so now I got two positions stacked and um, again I'll add my my risk in here um, and you'll notice that this particular trade here is an $89 risk the other one is 77 so now we got about a hundred and um, 77 plus 89 150 some hundred and sixty dollars of risk and so we want to be aware of that at all times and that's well within my risk parameters but you if, you, if I'm gonna stack again I have to remember what is my ultimate risk parameter and what's my reward gonna be so uh, right now it broke above again and I will I will add one third position and you guys have seen me do that uh, if you've watched this at all, I will add a third position if it comes up and it breaks. What I'd like to see, what I love the most is when it just comes out and I make quick money, like the first video today. I love that. But once I'm in and I'm struggling, what I like to see is for it to come down, bounce, break this level, and then break that level, and then I would get in here, which is basically the same price, but it's a little bit lower on the trend line. Um, and so... Uh, my entry would be a little bit better. All right, so again, here we go. I will pause this and I will be back when the trade develops. All righty, so uh, as I had said, anything can happen and it went down and I just got taken out. So uh, this was a losing trade. Let me go ahead and throw it on there. It was two positions right here and right here. So, my analysis was wrong I got I messed up and I took the loss so it's okay though because I'm still net ahead on the day and I know that the next time I'll make it back so um, I'm gonna take a look take a little break it's 10 o'clock I still got time in the morning I like to trade the New York session I still got about two hours so I'll be waiting for another setup but I like to take a little break and I can still probably I'm still in profit. I'm not at my daily goal right now, but I can come back, hit my daily goal. Still, everything's good to go. Um, taking a losing trade or a losing trade idea is okay, and it happens. All right, well, that's it for this video. I ended the streak of winning trades on video. I set, told myself whenever, uh, whenever I was done with the losing streak, then we'd see how long we'd go. And so well, the other thing we got to remember is this was my first losing trade on video. And so when I add all those together, I'm up uh, several, a couple thousand. Um, and this was my first losing. And I'm still up today. This is just my first losing trade series. So, you know, lo losses will happen. And I'm going to reanalyze this and come back and give another decision. Um, and so we'll see what happens then. But again, this is a 20-minute video. Hopefully this is as helpful as the winning videos. Um, but there was a lot of good analysis here, and I think it was really useful. So please, again, if, you're, if you like this, just like and subscribe and share it with a friend because I really appreciate it. I'm putting a lot of time into these, and I want to make sure that they're helping people. Thank you.